let's say, Adam Silver. So I'm on a projector, big, huge white wall screen, doing a presentation, and up on Twitter comes my handle, Hey Adam Silver, which is my Twitter handle, it's Hey Adam Silver, and it says, Go yourself. <laughs> Your referees suck. <laughs> Why do you pay them? You know, 140 characters later, you know, whatever, Bob. I, so I'm there and I tell my meetup group why I got these tweets. And I reply right then and there. I'm like, dear Bob, I'm like, sorry, you're upset. I agree, sometimes refs aren't great. By the way, I'm not the NBA commissioner. He writes back, I'm so sorry. Like, look, you're really too fast on Twitter. Sorry, you have a crappy name. <laughs> I write back, and he, you know, I, and he also writes, I deleted the tweet. I write back, thanks, I think my parents might disagree. <laughs> he is my best man at my wedding. No, I'm kidding, he's not, no. <laughs> and that was the end of that, but yeah. I write back to about, I mean, to everyone who tweets me regarding the NBA, I will write back. And about 50% people write back, I'm sorry. Other people don't, don't write back, they have another 25%, nothing, another 25% are mad, at, still mad at me. They don't, they don't believe that I'm not him. Yeah. If you look at my photo, let's do this real quick. If you just took a split second, uh, let's go to. While he's bringing that up, I'll just remind you guys, cell phones off, please, for the video camera. And we might as well get this going, everybody. Adam Silver. Woo! I, oh, why can I not see my screen? Oh, here we go. So we go to Adam Silver NBA. Let's take a look what he looks like. I have hair. A lot of it. He has money. I have hair. Okay. Funny story also, he actually does not have official NBA Twitter account. Uh, uh, he's not really on Twitter. Turns out he actually has a Twitter account, which is kind of private and hidden. Someone found it based on some tweets he sent. They did this, you know, little research and recon. So they did find his account, but it's not like an official Twitter account. Uh, side note, I do own adamsilver.com. I've had it for 20 years. It's for sale to him for a lot of money. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, um, so, let me just do this. Sweet. Okay, and let me get my water real quick here, just to make sure. And because this is a tradition, I have to just do this real quick. I'm gonna go. Okay, that's all I got. Every talk usually wakes people up. How are we doing for WordCamp? Last talk of the day. Much louder, because there's people around. No, I'm kidding, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna stand here, I suppose, and I do want water. And this is supposed to be a flash talk, and, hmm, not a flash talk, lightning talk. Completely awkward otherwise, let me tell you. <laughs> Completely awkward. All right. Um, and my talk title originally was my favorite WordPress business life hacks. It was going to be an hour originally. I wasn't selected to speak originally. Not bitter. <laughs> a week and a half ago, they reached out, hey, someone canceled, can you talk anyways? And it's a lightning talk. So sure. So it's really not WordPress business life hacks. It's more like WordPress business tools. Keep that in mind. So the goal is, to share the tools I use to run my business day to day as an agency because shiny object syndrome does exist. We can move around all the time changing our tools, but at what effect to get work done? And there's a thing there, we'll get to that. Before we do that, adamislive.com. If you go to that right now, you'll go and be able to share this talk with people on Twitter, because that's what I do. Okay, that's all I want to say on that. That's all I want to say about that. Okay, it's like I'm Forrest Gump. So, why are you here? Well. Different reasons, possibly. Um, are you here to get yelled at by Al Bundy? Who remembers Al Bundy? Okay. Who doesn't? Who's ever heard of Al Bundy? Wow, you guys are young. <laughs> no judgment, no judgment at all. Really, Chloe? Well, okay, you're not from this country. It's okay. <laughs> so, uh, Al Bundy, a lot of people want to be told what to do, what to use, right? Maybe that's you. But what's more important about this picture is not what's in the forefront, it's what's in, uh, why does that not work? It's in the background. Oh, come on, there it is. That's me. Yeah. I was very young. I mean, look at that. I mean, I'm sick. I couldn't grow a beard then. Yeah. I don't think I, yeah, I, I, I don't have that sweater anymore either. Thank 
Thank God for that. All right, so yeah, so while you're here, maybe you want to be inspired what tools to really use, or truly you want to get past this definition, my favorite quote by Einstein, right? So truth be told, oh, actually factoid, today is one year since I moved to North Carolina. It's crazy, a year ago I moved to Cary, I'm outside of Raleigh, and a year later I'm speaking at WordCamp Asheville, which is awesome. So yeah, I, when people say, why did you move across the country? I'm like, well, because it was Los Angeles. So I had to get out before it caught on fire. Anyway, I do like it here a lot, I really do. I have three kids, married, and in, uh, what's the date today? 19th, so in 11 days I'm off to Paris. I'm going to, with my wife, 20 years of married, marriage. So, so bye. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, so a year ago, right after I moved here, about a month after I moved here, September, I realized business wasn't great. And I'm completely honest and transparent with how I run my business. You guys want to know numbers? I'll share anything you want to know because there's plenty of business. How many people here build sites in WordPress? Right? How many people here maintain sites in WordPress? Right. There's, there's 90 million WordPress websites. Please come up from a place of abundance, not scarcity. Okay? If you take nothing else away, take that. I used to be the opposite. I used to have that fake. Okay, I might still have it, but I have a fake email account. I would email people, hey, how much do you charge for, I was doing photography work, for headshots? Why is Billy getting work? Why am I not, I'm not getting work? It's a bad place to be, it really is. Don't worry about what someone else is doing. Do what you do best. Last September, I thought, I'm crazy, I'm insane. I'm doing the same thing over and over, not doing well. Friends of mine are doing the same thing I'm doing, they're doing great, why? Because they have things in place, systems in place that are working. They've taken the time to truly do it. I had the tools, I was paying for tools, I had the knowledge, and then I stopped. I'm like, well, I'll get work. People will find me. Well, not so much. Okay, so that's my favorite quote for this reason. Stats, just some quick stats. Not official stats, just things I kind of looked up online and Google, nothing referenced here. These are tools, CRMs, billing services, proposals, 20 to 30 versions of everything I'm talking about. You may use HubSpot, you may use whatever. I'm gonna share the tools I use to do what I do. There are plenty to choose from, okay? Keep that in mind. There's not one perfect thing. Here's another takeaway. People want the magic bullet. You know where you get the magic bullet? Best Buy, Target, you can make smoothie with, smoothie with it. There's no magic bullet for your business. Well, simple, okay, like that? I made that up last night, okay. okay. You can tweet that. There's magic bullet is for smoothies, not to run your business, okay. So, the goal is to share nine tools that I do to run my business. Reason why I use nine, it's my favorite number, it's my birthday, November 9th, send me a card, okay. Number one, the number one tool. People, someone asked me yesterday, what's the number one thing? Who was here? Did someone, is that person here in this room who asked me yesterday? No, she was on crutches, so she probably can't be here, okay. So I said exercise. Honestly, for me, exercise is the number one tool I do, every day. I have the Apple Watch now. Bought it for myself on my birthday, two years ago. Love it, oh, I just got a tweet. I got a like from Stephanie, who's Stephanie? She's on here, oh, she's back there somewhere. Anyway, so every day, I track everything. I track my exercise. I did two miles this morning. Um, it's what I do. It's minimum 30 minutes. And again, we're all busy. Make time for exercise. I also take naps. I'm up at 4.30, 4.45 every morning. I wake up, my alarm goes off, I'm up. My brain just starts. It's not worth me trying to stay back in bed. So I get up, I do my thing, I work out 30 minutes. And actually now my workouts are much harder. I'm gonna say this out loud because the more I say it, the more it has to become real. I'm actually in training for a race. Um, it's crazy, it's called Ironman. So, yeah, it's gonna happen. Um, I have three stages to get there. Stage one is a basic six month um, base training to get me back to a level of where I can actually do something without getting hurt. That's now, I started two months ago, end of this year I will have that six months done. I've done two triathlons, not Ironman. Next year I will do half Ironman, and in 2020 I will do full. That's the plan, okay. So, and the reason I do this is mental health. Wow, got really quiet, didn't it? Yeah. Um, as, uh, who heard Elisa's talk yesterday? Elisa, her, yeah, okay, so one person, well, she'll, she'll appreciate that. So she's a good friend of mine, we work uh, in the same co-working space, she shared that she has depression. I have mental health issues, we all do, we all have something. I've struggled, kind of weird to say this out loud on WordPress TV, it's true. Uh, imposter syndrome, you know, whatever it may be, if I don't exercise daily, 30, 45 minutes, I feel bad, right? I feel bad, I make poor choices on food. I make poor choices on food, I feel worse. It's a quick spiral down, really quick. So I exercise, number one thing. Okay, the rest are in no specific order necessarily. This is number one, okay, so. And it also provides clarity for me. Once I'm running, once I'm out there doing something, I get it out of the way early. 
Um, and also, the fact that I'm training, I did a workout, a double, two weeks ago, uh, where I walked to the Y, I swam 500 meters, and I ran back to mile and a half. A, I was starving. <laughs> I burned calories really quick. I'm fortunate that way. But I eat like, I just, I can't keep weight on. I know, it's a problem. I know, I'm sorry. I suck, right? I know. I won't show you, like, my belt is like cinching over now. I need new pants. It's a problem. Yeah, it's my problem. Okay, so, yeah, so I have to eat healthy food and fuel myself. So clarity helps. Okay. Number, number two tool. Uh, this is huge. I use what's called the productivity planner. Okay. There are plenty of versions of this. You can have your own calendar, your own kind of planner. The why and how. Uh, I use it as my weekly and my daily planner. I'm going to show it to you real quick. Uh, and it looks like this. Okay. It's 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 basically it's kind of it's it's based on the Pomodoro uh, technique. So I plan my week. I do it on Sunday nights when I get back to Carrie tonight. I will plan my week of five, ten, or fifteen things I want to do all week. And on Monday, and then I'll plan tomorrow. So I wake up. I know what I need to do tomorrow. Right? And I give myself flexibility. I can move around a little bit, but at least I have an outline. It keeps me on task. All right? So, that's, and I haven't said it. I, I managed to say it. It's not here. I'm just making this shit up. No, I'm kidding. Okay. I use this religiously. It's 24 bucks. It's an investment. You know, it's just paper, but you don't have to use this one. Michael Hyatt has one. John Dumas has it. There's tons of these out there. It's the one that works for me. Okay. Uh, second one, OmniFocus. Anyone here use OmniFocus or heard of it? So it's a Mac app. Macintosh only, and iPhone. Oh, no one's heard of it and used it, okay. So how am I I use it? It's a brain dump. I subscribe to Getting Things Done by David Allen, okay. I want stuff out of my head, because I have way too many ideas. How many people here know me with an idea per week? A couple people, okay. So literally, I have, I have two podcasts right now, we'll talk about those later. I had two new ideas for podcasts in the last week, okay. I don't share these with my wife anymore. She, does, she loves me, doesn't care. <laughs> She just, I mean, I've learned the hard way. 20 years in, she wants to know only if can we pay rent, mortgage, health insurance. If it, if it ha doesn't have that in the conversation, can care less in the most loving way, okay? So it lets me dump my brain out, okay? It really does. I have an idea. I did it actually sitting outside. I was listening, oh, I was listening to your talk, uh, John's talk about um, the database, about an idea for doing a podcast about um, serialized, serialized data. I can't say that word. Go ahead and say it. No, okay, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> right? Serial, yeah, whatever. Data with an S. And that tool that you showed, because I may use that tool in my podcast. I won't remember that if it's in my brain. I need to dump it out as fast as possible. Have an idea, put it in my in OmniFocus. And it's only for me. I can't share this with anybody else, really. It's really my to-dos. It's overall just overall projects, okay? So that's what I use on a daily basis all the time. And sometimes I go through it, and I will literally just, if I'm not going to get to something after six months to a year, you know, uh, I'll just say it's done. It's, it's out. It needs to be done. You need to kind of, every now, once a year, twice a year, I go through and I just clear house. Domains are the same thing. How many people here own a domain, have renewed it more than once, haven't launched the site? Don't be, uh, see? The rest of you are lying. <laughs> okay. How about five years? How many people have, re yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Real quick trivia, how long can you register a domain for ahead of time? You think it's 10 years, it's actually 100. <laughs> Crazy, right? Like they're gonna be around. <laughs> Apparently uh, there's a hosting company that will do a 100 year registration. We, we found this out on last week because someone asked a question about your life after death, like your web life after death on one of my shows, okay. So, it's weird. It's kind of like um, Marty McFly when Doc sent uh, Western Union to deliver the package, the letter at that same time in the future, you know, yeah. So, so. Good luck, okay. All right, um, one of the main things I learned in September last year was really um, tracking business, really figuring out. The way I used to do this was, um, so first of all, CRM. Who's heard of a CRM? Okay, who's never heard of a CRM? So for those who don't know, stands for Crayons Really Matter. No, it doesn't, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, customer Relation Manager, okay. It's a way to put all your content in a place for business, for tracking. I use Pipedrive. I was fortunate last September that I spoke to my friend Jamie, who's a developer, and I was kind of just venting to some extent. I'm not sure what I was doing, but I knew I wasn't, the business wasn't good. I was stressed. We just moved across the country. I left California, no debt. Got to North Carolina, $7,000 in moving debt, right? That's expensive to move across the country. And I realized my mistake was being the insanity thing. My old way of getting work 
was I would find someone who might need a website, I would shoot off an email that I had and just copy and paste it over and over, or, or write it fresh every time, and I would BCC it to my Trello board. Who uses, anyone know Trello? Okay, so you, get a, so you can BCC it there to an email address that goes there. That way, in case John Doe emailed me back, yeah, I wanna hire you, I could go back and look to see what I sent them. I never followed up, I didn't track anything, I had no sequence of events, I had no evaluation on the project, nothing. One in 15, 20 might contact me, terrible stats, no way to run a business, just a shotgun approach. Shoot off 10 or 20 emails a week and hope they contact me. Pipedrive saved me on this. So I tested three CRMs, I tested Pipedrive, um, Agile CRM, and HubSpot. They're all fine, they're all great. And they all have free levels to start. Um, HubSpot has a free level for life, but the minute you want more features, there's a big investment upward. You have to, you have to spend the money. Agile had too much, I didn't need it. Pipedrive works for me the way my brain works. And what I do is it keeps me on task, um, and it's my home base. So I put in projects, and I give it everything of value, it reminds me to do something later. So if I put out an email, and I have sequences of emails that are pre-written templates, but I send them manually. Because if I'm sending someone a warm, cold email, I don't want it to be automated. I want to make sure that I know I'm sending it. So I can then personalize it a bit. If I met somebody at a conference, let's say I meet Chloe, no, I say Sam, no, Chloe, let's go back to Chloe. So I met Chloe somewhere and I want to follow up, hey, I, I can take the template I have, I'm not recreating the wheel each time, but I can, I can modify it. It was great to meet you at XYZ conference, here's what we talked about, you know, that kind of thing. And I can then send, right when I send it, it says, what do you want to do next and when? Phone call, email, follow up, whatever, and it's in my calendar. And I pay for it. 30 bucks a month, it connects to my Google Calendar so I can see what's up there, what's going on, okay? So I, I use this every, every day. Literally, these are things I do every day. Uh, another one is a way for to, to literally, I make it faster to get money fast in a sense. Well, proposals, let's just cut to proposals. Proposify, there's tons of them. I use Nifty Quoter. Um, reason being, the cost. It's less expensive than Proposify. Not as sexy, not as elegant on the UI and the UX, doesn't matter but I can have these blocks of text and insert them and be fast about getting people a proposal. The faster you get people you know, a proposal, they can look at it, you can, they can agree to it, say yes. Once they agree to it, I then go and send them a request for money through what, what's next, well that would be FreshBooks. Simple, right? On uh, Nifty Quoter, like I said, it's, um, it's not sexy. What's great about it is I can set it to let, let me know when someone opens the email. You do the one time only or every time? I do it every time. It's annoying sometimes. Like, why do they keep opening the email? Just say yes already. I had one client 27 times. They still haven't said yes. That's crazy. All right. Fresh books. Why and how I use it. Billing. How many people use fresh books? A handful of people. I use it to about 10% of its potential. I need to do more with it. I really do. I need to track time better with it. I don't do that as well as I should. Um, but it's make, I want to make it super easy for, to take people's money. I love the fact that I know when they open the invoice. Send an email, they're married, but, oh, I never got that invoice. Really? Because someone, I never, never point a name, someone opened it at 1042 this morning. <laughs> it's an awkward conversation. They're like, oh, really? Yeah, so make it easy. They can pay online, just like that. And FreshBooks is an awesome company. They have great support, it's okay. Um, almost done here with a couple more. Asana, project management. How many people use Asana? It's great. Some people use um, Basecamp. How many people use Basecamp? You guys are crazy. No, I'm kidding, it's fine. So I use Asana, I use the free level, it's fantastic. The difference between Asana and OmniFocus, Asana is project management for a team. I do have a small team, it's, it, it evolves. I've had six, five people, I'm down to two. I'm gonna lose one soon, I might need some more people. If you're looking for work, let me know. Um, so project management, and I do let some of my clients have access to their uh, project, so they can add tasks there as well. Very few of my clients can do that. Most of it, we, we, we take care of that, okay. I track everything that way, just easier, okay, for the project itself. And I think lastly, no, not lastly, two more. Uh, this one, Help Scout, support. I do a lot of support. Email is terrible for tracking anything, right? So I do support tickets, they get support at conciergewp.com, and I can track it, I can assign it to somebody else. I usually get it in as um, undefined for the person, and then I assign it to me. <laughs> so, you know, it's all right. I'm doing really well on my metrics, though. I'm, I'm Banging it out. I'm 100% closed tickets right now. No, I'm not, I have one open, okay. But that's how I use it. I use the free level there as well. No, I, yeah, so I'm grandfathered into the free level until November. They finally, they're finally getting rid of all the free levels of uh, Help Scout, so I have to make a choice here. 
Do I switch to like Zendesk? Or go somewhere? I'll probably stay. It's fine. Okay. And last but not least, uh, almost done here. Um, I say these things a lot. These are my mantras. It's kind of woo-woo. It may, you're like, what? Really? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm into this. So I, I said this one. Clarity begets action. Action speaks louder than words. Okay? I'm going to say it one more time. Clarity begets action. Action speaks louder than words. This is important because of this. Once you know what you're going to do, you can go do it. Once you've done it, don't tell anybody. Just, just accept the fact that you did what you said you were going to do for your client. Um, and clearly, I wrote this because I'm married. And for your spouse. Okay. So just own that aspect of it. Once, if you're going to paint, yeah, I'm going to paint this room. I'm gonna, this is an example. I need to go be clear. What do I need? I need paint. I need drop cloths. I need brushes. I need blue tape. And a big ladder, right? Or a really tall person. I'll get Sam on my shoulders. We'll be good. Okay. So once I'm clear about what I'm going to do, then go do it. And that's it. Then don't call it out. Just, you know, if you've done it, if you're a good person, client work, family work, just take care of that. And the other one is this. It's okay to say no often. It's my favorite thing to say is no. And not just to my kids. Uh, I tell clients no all the time. And I've actually turned work down most recently. I'm like, you know, that's not what we do. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. I just, I don't do that. Okay. So. That was short and swift. Uh, actually, I'm right on time here. A couple things left to talk about. I have two podcasts. How many people listen to any of my podcasts? A couple people. So I have Kitchen Sink WP. That's uh, episode 234. Comes out tomorrow, every Monday for four years. I have the Get Options podcast. That's a co-hosted show with Kyle Maurer. It's really fun. Episode 65 comes out on Wednesday. Okay. By all means, check them out. That's me, and that's me. Right. That's how you can find me if you want to email me. I will answer any question you want. And lastly, because this was so fast, and because Q&A may not be an option here, I'm willing to do this for this for WordCamp Asheville. If you want, email me. I will set up a webinar this week, either Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm thinking like 12.30, 1 o'clock PM local. That's right, we're on the East Coast. Uh, so anyone here not from the East Coast? OK, good. Oh, forget you. Oh, yeah, you're from California now. Whatever. Too bad for you. So I will do a webinar where you can, if you guys want to see any of my tools inside them, I will gladly log in and show you Pipedrive, Asana, whatever you, if you want to see something, let me know. And it'll be recorded, and just let me know, shoot me an email, I'll set up a webinar through Webinar Ninja, send you the link, it'll be invite only kind of thing. Uh, you can do that by sending an email to Adam, not him. <laughs> <laughs> send an email to him. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let's get rid of that. And uh, that is the end of my talk. You can go back to the podcast URL. Oh, fine. <laughs> I think so, yeah, hold on a second. Uh, get options. Can you see that? There you go. So it's so the get. So who remembers um, the Carr brothers? Click and clack. Okay. So get options. I'll tell you how how get options works. Very much the same. Where the car guys, the car brothers, uh, they would they were master mechanics. They would take questions from listeners. For example, my 1992 Toyota Tercel makes a weird noise turning left. What should I do? One of the brothers would say, "Don't turn left." <laughs> so Kyle and I. We've retooled a bit, but we answer people's questions in their life with WordPress. So let's say Sam, somebody named Sam, sends in a question and says, hey, I'm a remote worker. How do I stay motivated? We give you options. And the reason why it's get, underscore, get options is because get underscore options is part of the query of WordPress, by the way. Okay. Uh, it's always in there. It's always in there. So we may give an op option one based on the, how do you stay motivated. I may give the option of drugs. Not a good option, but it's an option. Okay. Just saying. So that's what we do. We, do. we answer two questions. We do like what's new in our lives in the WordPress life, uh, what's going on people on the move. We have some fun segments now. It's about a 45 minute show once a week. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Send in your questions to um, questions or questions at getoptionspodcast.com. There's a form, there's a speak pipe. We need more questions. We love them. Question in the back. Do you laugh at your own jokes like Ray and Tommy did? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, so, yes, sir. Why did you choose to carry North Carolina? Lost a bet. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, reason we moved, twofold, well, threefold, but the two I'll share with you is cost of living, quality of life. My wife started a new career. Uh, she's based in Boston. She's a flight attendant for JetBlue. I fly for free. You guys don't. Just put that out there now. <laughs> Buddy passes ain't going to happen. No, I'm kidding. Um, so, that's why. Yeah, and I do have three teenagers. I'm actually going to have a, an adult, another adult in my house, like in two months. It's, gonna, it's killing me. I hope she has a job. <laughs> She's in high school. She'll be a senior. Um, I think that's it for anything else. I was ask anything else? That's all I got, I guess. All right. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Woo.
Ooh, and we're done. Right on time. Which planner do you use? Is it